What is shared is a workflow with raw consistency. Advantage: Like this, you can maintain the character's face, clothing, and hairstyle. Wait for the features to remain consistent. I put one sheet at a time. Maintain character consistency by pinning seeds. Then continue to output, change its posture or scene. In this way, you can generate a lot of consistent pictures of people. I will introduce the entire workflow in detail in a moment. The previous workflow content is mainly one: feature extraction, character, role extraction, and extraction of characters. Human face team, mainly by this sure. iPad adapter plus this instant shirt. If this is extracted, it extracts the content of the entire image character extraction. Instant shirt can extract it. It is also a relatively complex image content extraction. The main model used by iPad adapter is face. This model extracted face. So these two are superimposed and just used. extract the feature of this picture character. Finally, through this graph model, a control man is added to the raw graph model, a pose model. The advantage of this model is that high precision extraction of a pose. Then here is also a posture reference for it. In this way, it can generate characters in different poses. Remember that this kind of say should be because fixed. Because if your say are not fixed, clothing, the characteristics of this character will change. Maybe the clothes will change, their style will change, etc. So it extracts features through these two. Generate an effect that maintains consistency and characters. There are many online AI applications on character internet, consistency, but that fee is not very practical. This local deployment, you can generate as many pictures as you want. The latter one is relatively simple. This is all. Face enhancement, repair, eye repair, and automatic image enhancement function. You can simply understand that. The first generated face is unnatural. Through this color, then the eye correction, correction again. The effect will be perfect every time it is corrected. You can take a closer look. It will look more realistic this way. This is a detail. You will briefly introduce. I will demonstrate the other ones later. For example, this is known for automatic face repair. The basic parameter is to remain silent. Then here is a model for it. Is the eye that fixes it? Of course, there are other hands here. Characters or anything like that is fine. Mainly fix the eyes. Then you connect the eye model. Then the prompt is pros and cons. The tip is to write whatever you want to fix. Then zoom in and out through it here. Then through this, adjust the automatic contrast and so on. You can understand that SPS picture enhancement. Beautify it. I have detailed notes here. If you don't understand, just read the comments. I haven't added this annotation to all my work now. In this way, everyone will encounter some choices when using us. Then you can read this note. You have detailed notes. Then you know the settings of each node. What does it do? Just understand it simply and lower the learning threshold. Then the next one is also. This is the second enhancement. If you need to use the secondary enhancement, just use the image then to it generate the basically image. the same here. That is, uh, the change amplitude is only 0 0.2 and or it's smaller 0 0 than 1. Then slowly repair it through drawings and drawings. Just a simple one here. 
Automatic contrast adjustment. You can under standard as automatic correction, color correction, or difficulty correction, etc. This will add an automatic correction. A function. Here is its detailed introduction, mainly correcting color contrast. Beautification makes it clear anyway. Image enhancement effects. The main role is the post model of app adapter and instant turn. You don't have to use this high precision pose model. Then the most important point is that the save must be fixed because the saves determine some of the characteristics of this clothing, etc. Let me show it to you here. If I replace the save with one, it doesn't have to be this dress. Of course, if you want different clothes, then you can just set this to render. If you want the same clothes, then adjust it to fix. Then give it any one here. Change someone's posture for reference. How about changing the pose to this one? It's best that these two are the same, because one is facing the direction of the one person. Is posture. If your posture is wrong, the heading line is coming back again. It's weird. So it's best to be consistent. This is a reference action. This is just a reference for the orientation of the face. For example, like this. Anyway, I just replace that. Then its clothes won't be consistent. Of course, if you like this dress, then keep this seat now. Keep changing positions. It will also keep the outfit. For example, I will replace it with something else now. Other postures. Let's find someone else and go over there. It is maintained by fixing the seats, and the character characteristics of the picture are maintained. Of course, it sometimes won't be exactly the same. You can switch this pose of several more characters. Because the same seats will generally remain consistent. Uniform clothing. Change to another one. You can write all the unnecessary things like this in reverse prompt. So if you look at the reverse prompt words, write a lot of this. And AI is the same. GPT is the same. Too much nonsense. The same goes for this AI student There's picture. just too much mess. Like if I change a model. If you use the C, it will generate the same piece of clothing as just now. So this is the role of fix it. Then now change to another one. Better than an old man like me. Let it generate. So here we usually adjust the seeds manually, because generally the seeds are kept fixed. The weights here can be adjusted by yourself. For example, this is the weight of instant. Here is the weight of EPA. 
They are also references. This is style. Style reference. It is weird, no. It's a reference to this character. But what about the hat? Seems to have no reference. So here it is. You can set it randomly. Just find a suitable seat first. Generate cards at will. Find a suitable seat and then fix the seat to generate order. But keep your clothes on. Everything is consistent. There is something wrong with this understanding. It seems I misunderstood. This hat. So it's all this hat. So you can correct this through word prompting. I won't do this for now. Another. Okay, just this seat. Then put it. Exist here first. Give it another position. A close app shot. Very strange. Let's change another position. It's keeping the costumes and hats and things like that. Still not that perfect. But ensure facial consistency. And simple clothing like this is still okay. So this still requires drawing cards. It's more normal like this. Then change it to another action. That's if you want to keep the outfit consistent. You still need to draw a card. Not by Fenjiba. Because when drawing cards, the latter one will do. Disabled. Yes.
No need to repair. This step. Basically, it can still maintain the consistency according. And I had. It's just that it's not 100%. So this is the draw card. Okay, I'll share it here for this issue. Let's go play. Oh, by the way, if you want to use it locally, can open my notes. I have character consistency here and all now the installation and workflow. Screenshot. Simple and smooth introduction. There is also a workflow download. Right click and save as to download. If you don't want to install it locally, I just want to use it directly. That is online mirroring. Open my image directly. Click on it. What I am using now is if online mirroring. If you can mirroring. see this character consistency, that means the platform has been updated to the latest version. Just click on it. Ready to use. All the models here are all installed. You don't need to go by yourself. Manually download and install or not. This is super strenuous. What kind of eye test? I also deployed it once. I don't want to deploy it a second time. Okay, let's go play.